All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, please invite your friends and tell them that we are live on air. Uh, I decided to start a little bit early as the time set up for 6.30 uh, because I saw many of you waiting, so there is no need to wait. Uh, you know, uh, always we see Muslims, and uh, today is no different. A Muslim, he made a comment that we Christians uh, desperately trying to defend our pagan religion. Uh, you know, when a Muslim he say pagan religion, the first question will come to your mind: Look who is talking. You see, the Bible said it clearly that Christians are not allowed to make any images for what is for in heaven or down in earth, and that is for the purpose of worship. Now, somebody will say to me, uh, there's a churches who have, etc. Well, I don't agree with them. This is not what the Bible teach. The Bible says clearly, even you want to say, for this is for a saint, we don't worship the pictures, that is not what the Bible teach. This is a wrong understanding. I don't agree with it. Pictures are pictures, and we don't have anything to do with it. You can have pictures for your family, your child, your son, your wife, your husband. That for sure have nothing to do with this. But there is no need to have pictures of anyone, including Christ. For the Bible says it clearly, you don't make an image for anyone, including God. Uh, so the Bible teaching is so clear. And if we want to judge, I believe, we judge by the teaching of the belief, not the practice of somebody. So today, if we if we take the same method, we apply it on Christianity and apply it on Islam. As I said, if I am a person who do uh, fornication, well, then that will make me a fornicator. But that will not make Christianity a religion of fornication. Because we know the Bible forbid us from doing that, and Jesus said, made that clear. But the Quran approved fornication. Muhammad, he was a black stone kisser. So when you say to me you are a pagan, you are talking about who? Me or my belief? To be a pagan, I have to be fighting to death in order to jump to the front line, as you see in the picture, just to kiss a black stone. If I do that, that will make me a pagan. Neither my Lord, neither my prophets, neither my book teaching me to kiss stones. If you see somebody doing that, that's because he's an idiot, not because he's a Christian. That because he is an idiot. Doesn't matter who is he, not because he's a Christian. Always you want to judge a faith, you judge it by the teaching, not by me or anyone else. If I want to judge a Christianity, I will judge it by Christ. Not even by a bishop, because bishop is just the same as everybody. He can be a corrupt, he can be false, he can be good, he can be bad. We judge by the teaching of the one people follow, not the followers. I don't judge Islam because of Abdul, he is a rapist. I judge Islam because the founder of Islam is a rapist. I don't judge a person because he killed. For sure, he will go to court, etc. But I'm not going to judge a faith because somebody he killed somebody. I will judge the faith because Muhammad himself is a killer. I will not judge you if you are a person who walk in the street and your name is Muhammad and you flirt with your son wife, which is absolutely bad and disgusting. Let us say I will say you are a bad person, but I cannot judge all the Muslims says because you are doing this, all the Muslims are bad. But I can judge Islam because Muhammad himself he fornicate with his own son wife. So the pagan Muhammad, the fornicator Muhammad, the thief Muhammad, the killer Muhammad, and yet the Muslims they accuse us with whatever they have in their cult that we are the one who have. Show me where in the Bible it teaches me to be a pagan. Where in the Bible it teach me to, forn to fornicate? They will say to you, do you know that uh, Lut, daughter, they have sex with their father? What does this have to do with the teaching of the Bible, you liar? The Bible report what people do, good and bad. 
if God say do so, then God say do so. Can you show me where God said good do so? Uh, once I remember a Muslim, he said to me, "Oh, the Bible says that God he said to Husha, go and marry a woman. She will be a woman of adultery." Well, this is a prophecy, Abdul. This is not God is saying go and marry a woman of adultery. The God he told him. You will you will go and do your best to marry the best of the best, but she will not be a, 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 a good woman. It was a prophecy about what they will do. Not God is saying to him, "Go and marry a woman," and she, you know, he, she will be, she will be, you know. But the guy did not listen. He thought, "No way." He challenged God actually. That that's what happened. I'm going to find the best girl in the town. The best woman and I will marry her so there's a huge difference between a fornicator like Muhammad who is the founder of Islam and yet the Muslim they believe he is the best of mankind a man he went to his own son and he flirt with his wife's son when she is in the house of the husband not in the house of the neighbor now just to show you the logic of the Muslims if we go to the Muslim website and see how the Muslims explain, explain the pagan behavior of what it's called the pagan Muhammad kissing the black stone question the black stone fatwa number one zero two one nine zero two what is the importance of the black stone in Kaaba and what does represent now the Muslims they are trying to explain to you why the Prophet he kissed the stone. Listen carefully. Praise be to Allah, hmm. the leg, Allah the leg. You see, they say to you, you worship a man, but their God is a leg. Allah is a shin. Allah is a foot. Allah have five fingers, and Allah have boogers, and all of this, Allah is not a man. So what he is a zaraf or octopus. Allah have two hands in the right side of of, of his body. I mean. Even even his design is messed up. God, he have two hands in the right side of his body. So what he have in the left, nothing. Let it go. So there is many hadith talk about the black stone, which will be will quote for our brothers, so that they may learn from them. Okay, we are learning. Go ahead. Black stone sent down by Allah to this earth from paradise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen to this, it makes sense. God, <laughs> the Muslim belief, by the way, is very realistic. I mean, you cannot deny that. Allah, brother, listen to me carefully, brother. Allah, he sent the black stone, brother Sitter. Some of you ask me question. Why the Prophet Muhammad, he killed the black stone? First of all, this black stone is sent from Allah from heaven. So what do you expect the Prophet to do? Abdul, Abdul. Can you show me how in the world you believe in such a garbage? I have no problem to believe that this stone is coming from the space. We have billions of stones in the earth coming from the space. Not millions, billions. Every night, a lot of stones fail down from the space. So are we going to worship them and kiss them and make them holy? But look here what they are saying. The one who said... The one who the one who sent the, the stone is Allah. Allah sending stones to the earth. And what is the purpose of this stone? Let us see. It was narrated at Ibn Abbas said the message of Allah and blessing upon him said, the black stone come from paradise. Uh, okay, hold 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 hold. On. Well, well, oh, and what the purpose of this? Let us say for the sake of argument, the black stone came from paradise. And so. What if Allah he sent a donkey from paradise, Muslims? Are you going to put him in the wall of the Kaaba and you kiss him? 
let us say Allah he did not send a black stone he sent a donkey are you going to, to, to kiss the donkey do you see the logic and the stupidity the brothers and sisters the Prophet of Allah he said Allah sent the black stone from the heaven so <laughs> <laughs> and how you get the information about the black stone sender from Allah by my friend like does it come with the certification uh, does it come with the signature of Allah uh, if you go by the way and see the stone of the Kaaba let me see if I can find you a picture there's not even stones it's all eight small stones and the Muslims they glue it together uh Let me see if I can find you uh, a picture of it. I made a video. I uh, advise you to go and watch it. You know, it shows you how the black stone look from inside. Okay, here we go. I found the picture. Wait. Uh, let me see if I can find something more clear. I advise you to watch like here look if you look here with me here the guy is fixing the black stones how he fixed them the black stones are small tiny stones it's not one stone no more it is you know because Al Hajjaj bin Yusuf uh, sorry uh, Al Qurmuti when he destroyed the Kaaba he took the black stone and then he gave them pieces he did not give them stones and everybody agreed they are small tiny stones like all of them together they will not be even one kilogram so what you see here inside is not the stone they are trying to resemble how the stone used to look like what is inside is just eight small pieces of a stone the Muslims they came it is part of the original black stone which is looked like a vagina so what is this space all this is all is wax inside here you will see he is adding wax every every like 10 15 days they have to add more wax between the stones there's not there, there, this is not the whole this is not a stone all of it so they resemble the stone which is used to be supposedly in the old days by making a look of it placing 80 stones inside the wax to resemble the old stone but there's no stone there except the pieces you know what i mean do you see how he is uh he is he is melting the wax you see they put wax and they melt it they repair so it's a let us say it's a big piece of a glue made of wax and they inserted when when the when, when this uh, thing is hot they inserted the black stone the black stones the small tiny stones inside it to resemble the old black stone now question as long as the Muslims agree that this is a stone sent by Allah and Allah he sent it for a reason why does a stone need maintenance <laughs> I mean can't Allah I wish I can I can get a, a picture I don't know if you can see here guys can you see the 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 glue do you see how how red the glue inside if this is we say it's a black stone but the fact it's not black I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about do you see what I'm talking about you see this brown thing this is the glue it's kind of wax and it's supposedly expensive kind and inside you will see different color and those are the small rocks I'm trying to zoom as much as I can so you might see it do you see it you see those rocks inside this is there's no black stone there's not even nothing left so look how stupid this idea 
Allah he sent the black stone for the purpose of Muslims so they can kiss it and they touch it and Allah will make the black stone a witness for them in the judgment day as Muhammad said and the black stone is the right hand of Allah as Muhammad said Allah is God but he have a right hand is made from a stone and this stone is the right hand of Allah is going to witness for the Muslims in the judgment day whoever kiss it is going to witness for him and the black stone in the judgment day is going to have eyes and ears and going to witness which obviously a very clear pagan believe that a stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day and this is mean this is a living stone but look what happened to the fairy tale of Islam if this is a stone sent by Allah how come Allah cannot protect his stone and this stone need stones actually as you see nothing left don't Allah knows that after 1400 years this stone nothing will be left of it so now if 500 years from now this the time pass because those stones are shrinking more and more do, do you know how many people touch them every day that's why they keep repairing and putting the wax trying to to protect it muslims by thousands they come every day to touch it and kiss it so after 500 years from now or a thousand years from now what is going to be left of those tiny stones already there's nothing <laughs> so how Allah he sent this stone from heaven but you need to do maintenance for it if Allah he sent this stone in purpose for the Muslims for the Kaaba don't Allah he knew that this stone need to be protected can't he protect it can't he send a stone with the kind of nobody can break you see uh, uh, Muslims right now American and European they can produce kind of metals uh, I'm not saying that you know like I'm not talking about gold or uh, uh, other priceless uh, uh, you know material but they can produce many kind of material which will never rust and will never be bro broken very hard to break extremely why Allah did not send you the stones from diamond as an example do you know how hard the diamond Why Allah he sent the stone is easy to be broke and easy to be demolished and easy to be, to be turned pieces and by touch is going to uh, go screwed and by time it's gone and as you see now what you will do in a thousand years from now what you will be kissing there the wax already there's nothing there actually and this is additional proof that all of Islam is stupid religion more proof you see, when the Muslims they speak about the Kaaba, this is the Kaaba. If I go right now, I will do this. Hold on. I made a video before. I don't know how many of you downloaded it. I hope I hope you you will, uh, you know, download this video. It's called Seeking Allah, Finding Death. Uh, if we go let me find all right guys read with me look look with me do you see this picture this is a picture been taken not long time ago but you know this is in the beginning of the oil revolution in the beginning of the oil revolution do you notice what's happening there flood the Kaaba always flooded by <coughs> by rain let me try to find you more pictures Uh, let us see. Yeah, I cannot find the image. Let me see. Uh, I need to find what is the search I need to look for. Hold on. <clears throat> Uh, 
Mm, strange. Let us see. Here we go. We found it. All right. Guys, all those pictures, look at this. One after one. The Kaaba, half of the Kaaba is covered by the water. Do you see how bad it is? Do you see it? This is not long time ago. Actually, even there's a new pictures, like after the help of the American. And look at this guy. This guy is swimming. Do you see it? Question. Allah, he sent the black stone to Adam. And Adam was in India. And Adam came from India. After Allah, he placed the black stone to tell him where is the Kaaba is. And the black stone is the right hand of Allah. No problem. How stupid Allah is to choose a location is going to be flooded like this every year. Somebody will say there's no water in Mecca. There's no water. This is true. There's no rain. I mean, but but, but when the rain happened, Kaaba is in the lowest spot of, of, uh, of Mecca. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which means Allah, he is a, the worst engineer. Imagine you ask an engineer to choose for you a location to build your house. And he chose a location where if there is little rain come down to the ground, your house will be flooded. Allah could not find a better spot to build the Kaaba except a flooding zone. And as you know, in case you do not know, in Mecca, there is no sewage. So what will happen when there is a flood? Anyone knows? Excuse my language. All the shit and the piss in the holes will come out because every house have a hole next to the house, which is their sewage. There's no sewage. All right. And then by time, the sand will suck the water because it's a sand. You know, it, it will suck it. It's a desert. Usually it doesn't flood up, but sometimes it flood, especially now people they have a faucet and etc. So when the flood come, all the bad water will come where to the lowest spot in Mecca, which is the Kaaba, as you see. So what kind of God he chose the lowest spot to locate his holy black stone, therefore locating his holy Kaaba, where all the shit come there. Your God Allah is the worst engineer ever, and this is additional proof that the Kaaba is nothing but a stupid statement by a stupid liar, pagan person who claimed that this is the house of God. This is the house of God. Look, look, this one is not even a long time ago. Look, look, this is after the oil, this is like uh, about 20 years ago. Look at this. People are walking to their chest with inside the water. Right? This is this is the holy house of Allah. The Muslim they have pictures showing us that a thunderbolt hit an, a statues of Jesus. It's a statue, you idiot. It's not God who made it. Whoever made that statues, he know it's a statue. It's, it's a piece of concrete. You can put a bomb there and you can destroy it yourself. You do not need to wait for a lighting. But according to you Muslims, the one who plays the Kaaba there is God. Can you explain to me why God he plays the Kaaba in such a horrible place? You see, Mecca is surrounded by mountain. Can't Allah he put it in a little bit high place? Are you guys getting my idea? When somebody when somebody says to you the Kaaba and the black stone is uh, is a choice of Allah and this is the house of Allah and Allah he sent the black stone with it there, what you will say to him? First of all, you don't have a black stone left. Remember, we showed you the pictures. What they have is eight little tiny stones. They don't have a black stone. You are kissing nothing. You are kissing the wax. Why Allah could not preserve the black stone if it's holy? 
Muhammad, he made false prophecy. He says that uh, the, the black stone is going to witness in the judgment day. But nothing left of the black stone to witness. I mean, shouldn't we keep the witness? Guys, we should put the black stone under witness protection <coughs> program. You know what I mean? Because as I showed you the black stone, nothing left of it. How the black stone is going to witness in the judgment day for the Muslims. But yet nothing left of it. And look at this stupid racism, racism statement. Muhammad, he said, the messenger of Allah said, when the black stone came down from paradise, it was whiter than milk, really. But the sins of son of Adam made it black. What the heck? You see, this is a very sensitive stone. You commit sin, the stone gets black. White is the color of good ones. Black is the color of sin. That's what the story is saying. Why the black people are black? You remember the hadith where Muhammad he says that Allah created from the right shoulder, etc. From the right shoulder, he created the white. From the left shoulder, he created the black. And then he said those who created from the right shoulder go to heaven and I don't care. And those who they are created from the left shoulder go to heaven and I don't care, which means he means a black. This is additional racism, racism statement. The black stone was whiter than milk. So what would make this black stone black? When you kiss the black stone, the black stone will take off your sin from you. It's like vacuum. And then the sin is going to be placed in the front of Allah in the judgment day. And this black stone in the judgment day is going to have ears and eyes and is going to witness for you, which means it's going to intercede. We continue about the pagan religion of Islam. This is means the, sin, the, the sins of the sons of Adam who touches the stone caused it to turn black. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? I'm not the one saying that. The sin of Adam, when you touch them, when you touch the stone, why it turned black? It's not going to turn black automatically because we are committing sin, no. But if you are a person who commits sin and you touch the black stone, the black stone turned black. The black stone was white. So sin make you black, according to the coward Muhammad. Then he continues saying, Al-Hafiz ibn Hajar said, some irritated, blah, 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 by saying, how come the sins of the Mishrakeens turned it black? Here we go. The Muslims, they have a problem now. Anyone understand what he's saying? Because the black stone turned black before Islam. Remember, Muhammad, when he was born in Mecca, the black stone already is a black stone. It was not white stone. If the black stone will suck you your sin and will intercede for you in the judgment day, so here they are saying that some of the Arab who came after Islam, they say to the Muslims, well, how come, how come the black stone turned black before Islam? Because if, if the black stone is going to suck your sin, obviously it was doing that for the kuffar, the pagans, not to the Muslims. But as you see, the Muslims and the pagans, both of them, they worship the same stone. So the answer here, and the worship of people who uh, of Tawheed did not make it white. Uh -huh. Look at this. This is a good question. How come the sin of the black? Because if the black stone is sensitive to sin, what make the black stone black? It is sin. Obviously, the pagans before Islam they are a sinner. There's no question about that. Uh -huh. Now the question here: Well, if the Muslims are the good ones. How come when they touch it, the black stone is not getting whiter? <laughs> I answer by quotation, by quoting what Ibn Qutayba said. If Allah had willed, that would have it happened. Ah, but Allah had not willed. <laughs> look at the guys, look at the genius answer. I mean, look at this. 
this guy he thought deep well you know yeah uh, he did not answer them why he's just saying if Allah he want that to happen it's going to happen but Allah did not <laughs> oh boy <laughs> it's a madness it is a religion of stupidity it's the same guy It's the same as the guy who just said to me yesterday uh, Christian Prince um, well you know uh, Christianity uh, I ask him why Islam is a religion of God I did not ask him anything T tell us why you are Muslim uh, you know uh, the Christians and the Jews they don't have the uh, the book in the language uh, Christians don't have the book in the language and the Jews didn't have the book in the language and uh, only the Quran have the book in the written in the original language and you don't have the language what the heck we have millions of people speak Hebrews we have millions of people speak Greek we have millions of people speak Aramaic the Bible written in three major languages not to mention even the, the, the Egyptian and all of those people they speak a language which is alive not dead and then when I said that to him he said uh, okay um, uh, but, uh, 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 hmm. what uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Allah knows best <laughs> if Allah won that uh, you know and why your prophet he took an oath in the in the Torah it's it, their answers is beyond stupidity so and this guy here now he decided to answer the smart question why the black stone turned black by the sin of the pagan before Islam and not turning white back because now the Muslims are not pagan. Why is not giving the getting better? The answer is well, if Allah He will, He want that is going to happen, but He don't want that to happen. But Allah has caused it to be the case that the black usually change other colors. If if if. And it is not itself change. If, 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 if. What? Guys, look at the logic. Usually black color win. <laughs> he forgot we are talking about sin. I thought sin lose. This guy saying black color win, white color lose. Which is the opposite to what happened with white. If, 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 if. Black color, white color, black color win, white color lose. Allah is a loser. And I love it when the Muslim they say the fact. Al Muhib al Tabari, the fact that it is black is a lesson. For those who have insight, if sins can have this effect, what on the intimate rock, then the effect they have on their heart is a greater. Ish. This is a lesson for you. Allah is teaching you a lesson. Look what sin did to the black stone. So what sin will do to your heart? And you know the funny when you hear Muslim talking about against sin, you will believe it. Muslims they allow themselves to do fornication, child molestation, killing, kidnapping, slaughtering, raping, and then they say Islam is against sin. I mean, this is too good to be true. How the Prophet who's talking about sin, he himself was a rapist. How many women I changed the Muslim to tell me now what is the number of women Muhammad he raped? What is the number of Muhammad he killed? What is the number of property Muhammad he stole? What about his own son fornication with her? Flirting with her? Forcing his son to divorce her so he can have her? Without marriage? The Muslim, they say he did marry her. How you marry her? There's no witnesses. In Islam, if you marry a woman, they call it marriage, supposedly. Nukah, but it's not, it's not marriage. It's a fornication contract, and we prove it many times. How Muhammad can marry without following Islam? In Islam, it says that to do the contract of nukah, which means the contract of sex, which the Muslim they say it is marriage. In order to practice that, you have to have at least two witnesses. When Zainab went to Jahsh, Zainab, the daughter of the donkey, this is her last name. She said to Muhammad, "Where is the witnesses?" 
now your his son he the divorce her supposedly divorce is nothing divorce really he just let her go I mean just go go to Muhammad she just left the house of the guy the, the son to the house of the father this woman she said to Muhammad now so what is the witnesses Muhammad he said Allah and Jibreel are my witnesses what <laughs> No, no, I'm serious. This is her last name. You see, the Muslim they call me dog, they call me dog, and they call me donkey. But the Prophet, his last name is Kilab, which means dogs, not dog. I'm serious. I'm not joking. This is not. A, this is a. This is a history. His last name is dogs, and his wife, her name is the daughter of the donkey. I change any Muslim to say that's true. Muhammad ibn Qusay ibn Kilab. Muhammad, the son of Qusay, the son of Kilab. Kilab is dogs. And the funny Muhammad, he hate dogs to death. He want to kill them all. Uh, the black stone will come forth in the day of resurrection. Guys, listen carefully. You see the pagan belief? The black stone will come forth in the day of resurrection and will testify in the favor of those who touch it in truth. What? The black stone, guys, you see, you people, you claim that you Western, you have something called attorney and court, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, listen. Allah, he have the first uh, attorney ever. This attorney have the power to intercede because it is the right hand of Allah. So when the judgment day come, whoever touched the black stone in truth, which means in, 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 according to Islam, this black stone is going to defend you in front of Allah. The black stone will say to Allah, Allah, this guy in the day of etc. etc. He come to me and he kissed me. And he put his lips and it was full of his, 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 like snots and he covered me with his spat. So please forgive him. And you are telling me that you are not a pagan? Allah, for, for the sake of, I mean, entertainment. I mean, can't you find us a beautiful woman instead of the black stone? Let us say Venus. You remember Venus? The Muslim believe in Venus, by the way. Anyone remember who is Venus for the Muslims? Who remember? And instead of getting us, a stone disgusting stone what about you get us a beautiful woman and we will line up brother the muslims will come from everywhere a muslim he will put his lips in her in her lips and he will never leave <laughs> abdul stop <coughs> there's long list behind you so allah he sent us a black stone allah the wise he sent the black stone we kiss the black stone and the black stone then is going to intercede for us in the judgment day. I mean, look at this wisdom. Oof, 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 oof. That's beyond imagination, my friend. That's so good. The Muslims are lining up because this is a living stone and this is a stone sent by Allah. This is the messenger of Allah. In different hadith, Muhammad, he said, as I said, it is the, the right hand of Allah. All of this, and they say to us, we are pagan. Why? Because we worship Jesus and he is our God. Jesus is not a stone, my friend. Jesus is not a stone. So how we can be pagan? We are we are worshiping a person. You Muslims, you Muslims believe that he is alive right now in heaven. The one we worship is in heaven as we speak. The one you follow is dead. And Muhammad, there is no proof of his existence. I mean, Allah, there is no proof of his existence. Who is a Muslim can prove to me that Allah is exist? There is no proof. Muhammad could not make one miracle. Or what you have, as you see, as stupid fictions and superstition stories and rituals. Shave your head before the good hour of the Kaaba, kiss the black stone, and don't go and throw several rocks and then three rocks, and then go and blah, 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 and blah, blah, you know, and go between a Safa and Al Marwa and Shaitan. He live in the same town of the de of Allah. Allah and Shaitan, they are neighbors. 
Allah and Shaitan they live in the same town. The house of Shaitan is there, and the house of Allah is there. So the Muslim they go around the Kaaba and then they go to the house of Shaitan and they throw rocks. You Muslim believe really that Shaitan he lived there? I mean, you don't think he is uh, trying to move somewhere to Hawaii as an example? <laughs> Uh, oh boy oh boy my friend this is a very true story the black stone is going to witness for us in the judgment day and Islam is not a pagan religion and the prophet now I know why the prophet was kissing it so good. Like Muhammad, he need he need a big lawyer there. <laughs> After all the crimes he did, you know, Muhammad, if I found his lawyer, you know, the, the, the right hand of Allah is going to intercede for Muhammad and all the Muslims in the judgment day. Imagine, guys. Somebody he make a case against you and they take you to court and then you bring a bunch of rocks and you say to the Judge the judge he asked you eh, Zakir Naik, what do you say about the accusation that you are teaching your followers hate and terrorism? I brought for you today Some pieces of the black stone According to hadith number 16 I think the theme it said that this black stone is going to witness for us in the judgment day. Therefore, I ask you to direct your question to the stone because this is a living stone and we are Muslims and we are the vegans. <laughs> Islam, is, uh, Islam is the religion of logic and Islam is... It's, uh, by brother, by brother, religion is Islam, Islam is all about science. The funny, nobody speak about science as much as the Muslims when this is the most dumb, crazy, stupid religion. Science, eh? Science. Like even your Pepsi Cola, you do not know. Even Pepsi Cola, you do not know how to do it until now. What science? In Turkey, in Turkey, they, they made a tank and nobody is buying it. Why? Because the tank, it might explode by you. How many people buy Egyptian guns? In, in Egypt, they make guns. Who want to who wanna, who wanna shoot with Egyptian gun? They make a gun look, look like a gun, but explode in your face. Until now, you cannot make a simple gun. It's a, just a stupid gun. Just get... Uh, and even the machines they use to make the gun is made by the kuffar. You know the machine who fabricate the 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 gun, the the pipe, etc. is is made by in Italy, made in Japan, made in China, made here there. But the Muslims, they come with something nobody was able to come with. It is the black stone. This is a talking black stone. Blah 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 blah. Hey, Blackstone, what do you want to tell me? So imagine yourself in the judgment day in the front of Allah, and we have the judgment day. I mean, look how horrible that day is. Billions of people are standing in front of God, and now God is standing or sitting in his chair, sorry, and there's eight angels are carrying him, and every angel have four faces, as Muhammad he claimed. And then the black stone will call you one by one Muhammad Ahmad Ali come over Muhammad you walk by Allah Muhammad Ahmad Ali in the day of etc he did the following he gave finger to his teacher he did steal seven candies from the candy store and he was not a very good person with his family because he did marry only one wife when Allah he ordered him to marry four therefore he deserve a penalty but because you are the good God Allah I ask you for forgiveness so Allah look at the black stone he said hmm okay so why I should forgive this guy the black stone will say Allah because you tell whoever kiss me and lick me he should be forgiven 
Allah said ah makes sense yeah I said that right yes Allah you said that mm, I don't remember by the way but okay you are forgiven next so now the Muslims will come one by one one after one and the black stone will intercede for them I mean the judgment day is going to take like seven eight billion years because if this black stone will intercede for everybody one by one how long is going to take this judgment day this is the most boring time ever and then look at this here it was narrated that Ibn Abbas, Ibn Abbas, for those who do not know, is the cousin of the Prophet, supposedly. The messengers of Allah said, blessing and etc. Said concerning the stone by Allah. Look, Muhammad now is taking an oath. This is serious now. This is serious. This is no kidding. I mean, come on. Show respect, please. When Muhammad, he said by Allah, it's mean he is going to make a big poo-poo. <laughs> by Allah. Muhammad say by Allah, it's mean a disaster is coming. Something big is coming. A big poop, a big poop. By by Allah will bring forth on the day of resurrection. And would have two eyes. Look, what the heck? The black stone is going to have two eyes. Guys, once those things happen only in the Middle East. This is a true story. I was walking down street in the in the Middle East, walking down the street, la 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 and then I saw a beautiful black stone with the beautiful eyes and eyelashes and she blinked to me. Oh boy. I can't remember. I I don't want to remember that did. I felt my heart is coming out of my chest. A black stone and is going to have eyes? What are you sure? <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> and the funny that Abdul he posts in the comment Christian pagans. <laughs> Christian pagans, I mean, that's so good. The Christian pagans, but brother, the Christian pagans, huh? Begins, begins. We are the pagans. <laughs> uh, let us continue. The black stone not only is going to have an eyes, is going to have a tongue. <laughs> I cannot read no more. Hold on. By Allah. Allah will bring it forth on the day of resurrection, and it will have two eyes with which it will see and a tongue with which it will speak, and it will testify in favor of those who touched it in sincerity. Oh, that's deep. Brother, this is deep. The black stone is going to testify in the judgment day, brother. But look at this. There is a condition. Only those who touch it in sincerity. You cannot fool the black stone. <laughs> uh, uh, oh boy. That's a true story. I mean, you have to squeeze it and touch it in sincerity if you don't do that. <laughs> uh, Muhammad, you are so good. You are really, really good. You are the real prophet of of God. There is no way. I mean, who can the who can? There is no prophet can come with this like you. You are not only not a pagan. You are the Lord of not pagans. You are anti pagan, brother. The stone will have eyes and tongue. <laughs> Imagine, man, somebody is good in cartoon. Who of you is really? Who of you is good in making a graphic? He can make a cartoon for me and send me just a graphic. I will add voice. I will use my voice. I'm serious. Let us make a rock on the Kaaba and then people kiss it and lick it. And then 
and then we bring the stone like in different graphic like supposedly now in judgment day and you like draw a lot of people all in the graphic like thousands and millions of people standing and then the black stone will have a tongue coming out you know and was going to talk oof. Oof, 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 oof. must be a true story and who in the world will not believe that this is true as you notice my friend take a note the prophet he said by Allah this is not a joke by what by Allah see the prophet he did not swear by usually the uh, usually Allah he swear by water watermelon oh sorry he swear by fig he swear by olive <laughs> Allah swear by fig, Allah, Allah swear by fig, Muhammad he swear by Allah. <laughs> oh boy. A God he swear, imagine if we bring Allah to the court and we want him to make a witness, to witness for something, because Allah he see everything my friend, come on, he knows everything. And then we say to Allah swear that you are telling the truth. Allah he will, he will say I cannot, I cannot swear unless you bring me a fig and he put his hand on the fig and he take it <laughs> I swear by the fig by the fig I swear I swear that's so good man and you Muslims saying to us that the Christians are the pagan are you sure Muslims I'm repeating, are you sure? Who is a Muslim here when I tell us what's going on? Let me show you the post of this guy. <clears throat> yeah, this guy here, look at this. Wow. CB trying to so hard to justify the pagan, the pagan belief that God become a man. <laughs> Ah, uh, that God, you just said yourself, you idiot, what we believe, that God become a man, become, which means he come in the form of a man. God is not a man, so we don't worship a man. You just shot yourself in the foot. I hope next time you will not shoot something else. God is not a man. Your God is a shin. Our God is not. Your God is five fingers. Our God is not. Your God is a foot. Our God is not. Your God is a physical being. Our God is not. So do you see who is the one who is the pagan? In your religion, your God did not become a shen. He is a shen. In your religion, your God did not become five fingers. He is five fingers. You know, if we try to understand who is Allah, according to Islam, <clears throat> uh, you know that I am an, uh, I'm very good, I'm very gifted in, in, uh, in painting, you know that, you know, I do not need to explain to you, come on. Allah have a face. And then Allah have two hands in the right side. Both of them in the right side. And then Allah have a shin. And he have a foot, uh, and his two foot are in the right side too. His light left side is not is empty. <laughs> it's like the desert of Arizona. <laughs> oh, Allah is not a man, so what he is, and Allah have every hand. He have five fingers. Oh, he have what? Five fingers? I mean, why five? What not six? What's wrong with sex? Five fingers in every hand. Why, brother? Why? Any Muslim want to tell us what Allah do with his finger is? You see, our God, he came in the form of a man, so he, he look exactly like men, so he can walk between them and speak to them, so they will not be scared and terrified. Your God have five fingers for what? He will use his fingers to do who? He eat with them, he grab with them. <laughs> Uh, by the way, I have copyright over this photo. Just to let you know, don't don't print it and say it out, like Picasso and you know. I mean, 
You know these days everything is happening. I mean, I cannot even draw anything these days. You draw something, then somebody will steal your art, which is priceless. Somebody one day he will he will take my picture, print it out, and he fake my signature. Let me put my signature there before somebody start doing something wrong. Hold on. I will put the signature before the picture. This is the signature in Arabic. Okay. This is only the first letter. To the second letter. Okay. I'm good. I mean, I, I will finish soon. Just wait. Just be, to be sure, nobody is going to steal my. Uh, uh, because you know this is hey uh, by the way anyone can make a verse like this the Muslim they said you can make your Quran like this anyone can make a verse like this in Arabic the, the Muslims are the most funny people ever the Arab they are saying to Muhammad your your book is a stupid and Muhammad says to them can you make something like it <laughs> He just told you your your book is a stupid, you idiot. You said to him, "Can you make something like it?" <laughs> uh, 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 who can make a verse like this? Anyone? I challenge you. I challenge Allah to make a verse like this. It's in the front of you. Oof, that's deep. That's deep, my friend. Let us continue. Let us continue. I mean, why we are wasting our time here, man? Nobody can make a verse like yours for sure. By Allah. By Allah. By Allah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> the wise Muhammad, he just taught us that Allah is going to use and he need the help and the intercession of a stone. Are you getting the point? Allah, He will depend of the witnessing of a stone. So you Muslims, you say to us, Allah, He knows everything. But obviously it is Allah who is saying here, and your prophet, who is Allah, that the one who knows all your sin is the stone. Because if Allah will forgive you if you are sincere anyway, can't Allah He know that you are sincere when you kiss the Kaaba? What is the necessity of the black stone? You know what I mean, guys? Uh, uh, read carefully with me. The black stone will intercede for who? For those who touch it in sincerity, correct? If you touch it in sincerity, focus with me, please. And the black stone is going to have eyes, and the funny is two eyes. I mean, look <laughs> for perfect vision, <laughs> two eyes. <laughs> Allah, you never heard of a scanner? I mean, why you need two eyes? What for? Can't you make a scanner scan the guy, man? Put a the camera there. The black stone have two eyes. Uh, one is 16 megapixel, and the other one is 18 uh, for the depth of the picture. Okay. So the black stone is going to have two eyes, and not only that, two eyes to see. Uh huh. And then a tongue. Tongue for what? To talk. If, 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 if. And then the black stone will testify in the favor. Take a note in the what? In the favor. In the favor of who? Of those who touch the black stone in sincerity. So how you say to me, Allah is all-knowing, and Allah, he knows everything, and now the, the stone is going to testify. Don't Allah knows already all the information the stones have? Guys, do you know what I'm saying? If Allah is the almighty God, brother Titar, in the judgment day, a black stone is going to be begin, and it's going to witness for other Muslims. And the black stone is going to have a tongue. It's going to speak with that tongue. And it's going to have two eyes. 
and he's going to witness for you a uh, brother but don't Allah he knows whatever the stone will say uh, no brother because obviously Allah will make the sudden after the black stone speak Have you ever heard of a stupidity more than this? And you are telling me we are the pagan? Muslims, you are telling us that we are the pagans? I don't want to keep the law the video. I can speak forever. You know, uh, Allah have a sh about Allah changing his shape. What about the hadith where Allah he says he will change his shape? Allah became his creation, the shape number one, the shape number two. Allah changing his shape. You see, they say to you that how God can be a man, the the hadith of Muhammad saying that Allah he changed his shape, and he will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew. When Allah He changed His shape, what He did to the first shape? And that shape who Allah He made, isn't it He He created or He borrowed it? And then Allah He go inside the new shape. What do you say, Muslims? Anyone uh, have anything to say? Let me show you the hadith. So the Muslim, they will not say, I'm making things up, my friend. You know them. You know them. I mean, you know them. They will accuse you of lying. It doesn't matter what you say. Let us see. <clears throat> Oh, Lord have mercy. Stupidity. Stupidity is a sign of confidence these days. All right. Read with me, Abdul. Read with me, Abdul. This is Sahih al Bukhari, Hadith number 105. Strong Hadith, full of vitamin and very healthy. It eat every day, at least five times a day. So, this is a very fat Hadith. What this Hadith says? According to Muhammad, they asked Muhammad, are we going to see Allah in the judgment day? During the lifetime of the Prophet, some people say to him, shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? Muhammad, he said, yes, definitely. You will see him with no difficulty. As you see the sun in the midday, as you see the moon when the sky is clear. And then he continues saying that Allah, the Almighty, then Allah, the Lord of the world will come to them in a shape. In what? In a shape nearest to the picture they had in their mind. By the way, it doesn't say that in Arabic. It says in a shape close. Sorry, uh, 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 to the to the image, the the, the 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 picture they know, they saw, not in their mind. And then he will be said, "What are you waiting for?" Every nation have come, etc., etc., and then they will reply. And you see the already the story. But in different hadith, you will see the story a little bit different. The Muslim they will reject Allah and they will say to him, We seek refuge by Allah from you. However, this is not really my, my interest. Why they reject him now? Allah will come to them in a shape. 
but that shape is not the shape of Allah. This is different than U shape. Let me show you. Where is the hadith? Let me see. Hmm. All right, let us see this one. Ah, huh, this one. Okay, let us see this one. This one is even better. Yeah. <clears throat> I found other hadith which is more clear and look how Allah he changed his shape and whatever shape Allah is changing it must be his creation because shape number one now shape number two remember shape number one and shape number two but both of them have to be created by somebody Allah is coming using the shape of who this is not his original shape so he must create one or he must borrow then Allah, the Lord of the world, will come to them in a shape. Uh, hold on, this is different. Where is this? Is not the one I want. Hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, okay. This is hadith number Sahir Bukhari. It doesn't show the number here. Okay, hold on. Six five seven seven three. Okay, let's see. This was the one. Yeah, this is the one. <coughs> Good. Read carefully with me. Allah will come to them in a shape other than they know, they know, and will say, I am your Lord. Guys, the Muslims they say to us that you, when you worship Jesus in the form of a man claiming to be God, you are pagan. Allah changing his form. To a new shape which the Muslims they do not know. This is a shape, this is a form. This is not how he is. So he will come to them in a shape other than the one they know or the one they saw first time. One of you Muslim, you saw a shape of Allah first time. Very funny. And he will say, I am your Lord. They will say, We seek refuge with Allah from you, which means they will kick his ass. They will say to him, Get lost. You are not Allah, <clears throat> you are Shaitan. This is our place, and we will not follow you. Speaking to who? To Allah. Just because he changed his shape, they refuse him. Is that why you Muslims reject Jesus to be God? This is exactly what you are saying to me. You don't like the shape of Allah. Allah is the same Allah now. It is exactly the same God you Muslims worship. All what he did, he changed his shape, and now you spat at him. And you reject him and you will say to him we will not follow you till our Lord come to us and not only that you will say we seek we seek refuge with Allah from you which means you accuse him to be the devil imagine how insulting and then Allah will go to his closet and he will take off his shape and he will change his shape then Allah will come to them in a shape they know and will say I'm your Lord and they will say oh yeah oh mommy oh mommy my be blue you are our Lord oh mommy oh mommy oh now they sh they are sure he is Allah five minutes ago they kicked his ass and they spat at him and they said we seek refuge against you now just because Allah he changed his shape in the shape you like you accept him so you Muslim don't worship God you worship a shape you are like a chicken. 
you know ba babies babies they don't understand they follow the shape if you put a little chick uh, uh, in the front of a cat and the cat is walking in front of them they follow the cat they think this is the mo they think this is mommy do you understand they might even follow the wolf who will eat them they think it's mommy they are babies you Muslims are a bunch of babies and you accept God by shape you don't accept God by who he is but now the problem is bigger than this now we have two shape of Allah Allah before tax and Allah after tax which shape you Muslims is the one Allah he created both or one if you want to say to me both are not created that will be that that will make it Allah is is two correct guys if the Muslim they will say the first shape is not a created and the second shape is not a created that's mean Allah is two person two person one individual is that correct you guys do you understand what I'm saying if we have two shape Muhammad admit that Allah have two shape a shape the Muslim don't like and a shape the Muslims they recognize which means they approve we do not know what's wrong with the first shape. Maybe he looked like a donkey or a monkey. We don't know. Very ugly. That's why they don't accept it. It doesn't matter. Now we have two shape. Allah is one, but yet he have two shape. Shape mean is a physical being, physical body. This is what shape mean. Something will take a space on the space. Me, I have a shape of a human. And my human shape have a certain criteria which you know like look exactly like this blah 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 so when you say he have two shape that's mean Allah is occupying two different bodies and they are separated how Allah can be one but he is in two bodies in the same time if you want to say to me he was not in the two bodies in the same time that's mean Allah is a grim he's a transformer he was in a shape number one and then he himself transformed into shape number two <laughs> the grim funny stupid American series Allah the grim and you Muslims are talking about the Christians are pagan I will stop here so those who like to download the video and share it please feel free Thank you for being here, guys. Tomorrow we will be here again. By tomorrow, mostly, maybe tomorrow or the day after, the book uh, already is approved. Uh, the Six and Allah is going to be uh, uh, out. And we did change the cover just to, to make it uh, uh, more uh, appealing for those who said, you know, we took your advice for those who said to me uh, that some changes need to be done. So the cover will be, look different, and I hope you will like it. So soon is going to be up and you can get your copy. All right. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Feel free to download the video. It's not going to stay long in my channel here. I will post it around. I will make like a channel just for broadcasting and then the videos will be in different channel. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is a stupid. Made by a stupid. For the stupid. Are you? Are you stupid to believe in such a cult? That a stone is going to witness for you? A stone have eyes and tongue. God, he need a stone to be the attorney. God, the all knowledgeable. He need a stone to tell him what you did in your sin. God, the all knowledgeable, will, advised, will be advised by a stone how you can believe in such a pagan cult religion. Shame on you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we see you tomorrow. God is willing. Thank you.